We have some very sad news that has just broken in the past hour or so in the football world, and they're still trying to get all of the details lined up, but unfortunately and tragically, the headline is that former Arkansas quarterback, former NFL quarterback Ryan Mallett has passed away at the age of 35 after drowning on a beach here in the state of Florida. Breaking news, Whitehall head football coach Ryan Mallett has drowned in Florida. For the past few years, he's been coaching high school football. That's what he's done after uh, after he was in the NFL. But unfortunately, these details are very, very sad. Former Michigan and Arkansas quarterback Ryan Mallett died after drowning in Florida on Tuesday, according to a report from Deltaplex News in Pine Bluff, Arkansas. A lot of people were questioning the source that is a, a local, like a local site that covers Arkansas news. That's why... It got reported there first. According to the report, Mallet was transported from a beach to a hospital where he was pronounced dead. Mallet began his college career at Michigan, spending his freshman year as backup to Chad Henney. After the season, he transferred to Arkansas. I think most people probably know him from his time in Arkansas. He got drafted by the New England Patriots, ended up going to Houston, playing a little bit with Baltimore. Never really ended up flourishing or anything in the NFL, but a lot of people probably know the name Ryan Mallet and remember him from his college days and getting drafted in the NFL, going to the New England Patriots. And just a real sad story uh, to, to drown basically what it sounds like on vacation, maybe in Florida. Uh, reports are it was in the Destin area. We saw former NFL running back Peyton Hillis nearly drown while he ended up saving his kids um, in, in a crazy story as well. So I'm sure more details will come out either way. Obviously, friends and family of Ryan Mallett, that has to just be a, a terrible blow for that family. I'm sure they're feeling so much loss right now. So, of course, thoughts and prayers go out to them. Uh, we'll see what else comes out about this either way. Definitely a very sad story. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments below, and we'll talk to you later.